So today we're going to uh, install the motor guide quick release bracket onto the trolling motor itself. Uh, in, a, in another video, we we installed the um, the the other part of the the lower part of the quick release bracket onto the one objective uh, mount for the Hobie PA14. So this one we're just going to follow that up and install the. Uh, bracket onto the motor guide itself or the trolling motor itself and uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and get going All right, so the the tools that we need is we're going to need some allen wrenches uh, specifically you need the uh, 3 16th um, We're gonna need six of the um, Of the 35 millimeter uh, bolts uh, six of the washers six of the locking uh, nuts. Uh, it doesn't say in the instructions to put any Loctite, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some Loctite on there just because I don't plan on removing it. And then we need- All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we need the Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna, there's a screw right in there. We just need to remove that screw really quick. Once the screw is off, you can actually take the whole side plate off here. And catch our screw there. I'm going to set that off to the side. Move this over here as well. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the other side really quick. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put our bolt in on the first one and put a little bit of Loctite on it. A lot. Slide that through there. I'll show you what it looks like. So just kind of lining it up there. And then we're going to put a washer on it. Then we'll go ahead and get our nut started. And then you can use a uh, 10 millimeter, yeah, 10 millimeter uh, socket uh, with your, um, what is it, the 3 16 Yeah, 3 16 Allen wrench to get that tightened up a bit more. So we got that on there now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the other ones on this side here in, and then we'll flip it over and do the other side really quick. Get our washer. Just getting that started. Bolt, washer, and our nut. All right, so now that we got at least all, all three of them on this side, Done. I'm gonna go ahead and get them tightened up a bit more and then we'll flip over to the other side. Alrighty, so we got all those in there, just snugged them up so it stays in place. And I'm gonna flip over to the other side now and we'll get the other ones installed now. Go.
All right, so I just got done making sure uh, I had everything installed correctly. Um, so I'll give you kind of a quick overview of it. So you obviously want to use the countersunk uh, side on the bottom here, so your bolt's going flush. Um, you want the fatter or larger portion, uh, this part with your uh, pedal here. So make sure that's on that side. I use the bolt. There's a couple different positions you can use on the trolling motor. I use the one that was farthest forward here. Um, that, that works best for my mount on my boat. So um, if you're using a Hobie PA-14, uh, that's probably the one you want to use. Else you'll kind of have to just kind of check that out yourself. Um, so yeah, I, everything's in place. Everything looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten up the, uh, the nuts here, uh, get those all nice and snug, and then we'll uh, put the back of the side plates on and then we'll throw it on the kayak and check it out. All right, so we finished up the install of the bracket here. Uh, the one thing I did forget was that you need to, um, for this bolt here on either side, depending on which side you want it on, you need to put in your uh, your little clip here. Um, uh, that, that was the only thing I forgot. But so yeah, just make sure you add that in there so the bolt does go through that. So now, All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install our side plates again. So we'll grab those and our screw that came with it. There is actually some clips here. Just keep that in mind. There's a clip here and a clip here, and they slide into the spots up here. So you gotta kinda make sure you get those aligned first. Nice and snug. So that side cap's back on now. And all the clips are in place. Should be good. So flip it over and do the other side now. So there's a there's actually three clips so there's one here 
uh, one right here and then this little back side here clips in so kind of clips in right there and there's the front clip here and then there's this middle clip so get those lined up first and then your, your screw will pretty much just go right in nice and snug and that is it for the install all back together um, we got the let me flip it up for you quick release bracket on there now as you can see so I'll go ahead and throw that in a kayak for you let you see what that looks like So this was the bracket we did in the other install. Uh, the, I believe they call it the lower bracket that goes on the actual um, one objective mount on the Hobie PA-14. So now go ahead and set the actual motor up there. Let's see if it fits right in place there. I'll grab the um, bar that goes there one second. Got our bar, uh, that just goes right into here. Clips into place. And uh, just kind of show you what it looks like here. pretty easy install so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up end up routing my power cable right back in here and then I already have my Anderson plug installed on the boat I'm gonna cut this here and install the Anderson plug and then um, be able to plug it in and get it going so anyways thanks for watching 